How's it going everybody? It's Dean here once again from R Gaming, bringing you another Zendikar Rising draft. Now before we get to it, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our latest videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, and make sure to catch me on Twitch.tv throughout the week. Wish me luck as we jump Same right here. in. Pack one, pick one. It's a pretty it's a pretty dull pack with lots of kind of directions that you can go from. I like... <laughs> hey, Decrypt, how's it going, my friend? Hope you well, my friend. Right, so I think I like the Fraught the Grave here. It's a good start. It gets us into lots of kind of various decks. Um, I mean, I mean, this might even wheel at some point, right? Pop tip for getting number down. Uh, no more zero three drafts. I mean, it sounds good, Cyvax. Sounds like a good idea. Ooh, Royal Eruption. What was red in that last pack? Not, not much, right? I like, I like taking the removal here. There is a Vanquish the Week as well, but I don't think we're passing the Royal. The, I mean, there's a Rooster Drake in the last pack, right? What about two cases of Monster Energy? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of Monster. I'll, I'll drink it. I'll definitely drink it. But it's not kind of, it's not kind of up there as kind of an, an elite drink for me. Um, uh, I mean, there's a Rabid Bite there, which is obviously a good card. But I think I'm going to take the uh, Midnight Runner. Which flavor do I prefer? I didn't know there were multiple flavors. I think I just have the normal flavor. I have the flavor that tastes like a uh, cheap Red Bull. Is that is that a flavor? Okay. So I think Black Red Party could be good if we can get it to work. What kind of flavors are there for Monster? I, I honestly did not realize there was that many. Hmm. Okay, easy sky dancer for us here. I think it's a it's a rogue which works really well. I mean, we're not picking anything else. Everything else is quite bad except for the blade master. You drink like five six a day, no, so no wonder you no wonder you stay up so late, man. No wonder you stay up so late. Tastes like garbage, DJ. <laughs> think I spellcraft's decent removal, but I think we go for the GOP. Any red deck we're in, we're going to want that trample, right? White Ultra. Ooh. Okay. I've, got, I've literally got no idea. I had no idea at all. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what have we got? We've got 13 units down the battlefield, guys. Any more would be greatly appreciated. I'll chuck the uh, I'll chuck the link back in. Exclamation mark readers. Oops. Shouting. <laughs> Fisher Wizard. Do we go Wizard? I think I am going to go Wizard here. The reason being is that um, we're not going to get that many Wizards in these color combinations. Fantastic. Alright, so we've only got Fort of the Grave so far, but Fort of the Grave is really, really good in these synergistic decks. Like for example, you, you we bring the Sky Dancer back and it and it mills them a bit more. Bring the Wizard back and it uh, it means we can like rummage it again. Again, the, again the Grow Tag back is also good. So return target creature and up to one target or okay, so it's or not and that's fine. Hmm, nothing too much going down here. This could be a bit of a dead hand maybe. I mean the Blight Blade's good. Hmm. I don't like the lag act. That was a decent blocker. We, we take it because it's playable. Brought his and? Yeah, so so one creature and one of it. It's not like it's not right you can bring loads back, is, is what I was kind of saying. So so it's two creatures, not not five, essentially. Ba 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 bum bum bum. Uh, Oppos. We play Demon Killer like every day. They love it. They absolutely love it. No, but I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I never really see it being played. So, do you? Do you? Do you play it very? Do you play it like quite a lot in yours? Six mana, bring back five creatures. Well, you know. 
you know. Okay, so Charger... So Charger is playable. It's probably... I mean, all right, let, let's just put, let's put all these cards in. Let's put all these cards in. This is what we're looking like so far. You're played in black, red, nothing else. Blood Beckoning is really what we wanted to see there. Great card again. Um, do we play both of these? I mean, we've had the, we've had this discussion before whether or not we play both of these. I think we do. I, th I think the recursion value is just excellent. But, but yes. Would you not also want to maybe play it in like, uh, like red green though? Like, 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 why does it not become good in red green? Because aren't they the right color combinations? Another wizard. Happy to go down that route. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You reckon someone just timed out? Ah, Kite Sail. Good. So Kite Sail works really well with the Geopede. A 5-3 Trampler in the air is pretty good. It demands an answer. You bought 321 bushes the other day and got absolute trash. I've, lit I've literally not touched any paper magic. Um, mm -hmm. Altar Lily's Sander Bearer? Oh, I like that card. What, what's, the, what's the old art on it, though? Ooh. So, Royal Eruption or Deadly Alliance? I mean, Royal Eruption hits face, right? Well, Deadly Alliance just is a straight-up kill spell. Hmm. We don't know that we're in black, really. Which kind of makes me want to think Royal Eruption. Oh, thank you very much, my friend. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I actually like that. I mean, it's fine, right? What's better here? I mean, Deadly Lance just kills everything. I think we have to go for one. Okay. So, Electromancer is nice. It kind of enables what we're doing here. Second Electromancer, or all that, you know, let's, let's, go for the, let's go for this rogue. Let's go for this rogue. So, there is a Sorcerer Spell, a uh, Synchronized Spellcraft. Now, nah, let, let's, let's, let's go the rogue. Wow. Another Electromancer? Okay. Mono three drops. That's fine. So technically what I could do is I could play the thought. Because it gets back it gets back any target creature as well. So it allows me to get back these two plus something else. Which is nice. Um the Fireblade Charger is only really good in your deck if you can fit in a uh, like the, the scav blade or something like that. Well that's not bad. That's not bad. 21 allies on the battlefield, guys. 15 minutes left. Exclamation mark raiders. Boom, boom, boom. Our friend Honky has uh, has dropped. I'm sure they have. Not a big fan of any of these. Scorch Rider helps us out as a four drop. But do we just take the subtle strike? I think subtle strike's just more dangerous, right? Okay. Would you ever play two, Airbush? Would you play two of the Lagax? <laughs> stop playing. If it's still to you, man, stop playing. You only play one. Hilian it is then. Ooh. Now, I do like picking up a second one of these, but I think I'm going to go for the Blood Priest. The Blood Priest gives us, uh, not only does it give us a two-drop playable, but it gives us a Cleric, which we don't have, which is quite nice. So we're getting the party together. Skitter Sneak is okay. It's a rogue that we're not too happy to play. Now, I think picking up a Spellcraft would be excellent. And what do we need? We need something that has a payoff, right? We need something that has more. You can't stop playing in 34 hours left. True. True. I mean, I, I kind of guess say, like, it's like 
what's the enjoyment factor? Like if if you if it's if it's making you like not enjoy it, that might be worth thinking about. Uh, I mean, not. I don't want to play in either of these. I'll, I'll take this just in case we like run out. Okay, so the Silencer might actually be playable in this particular deck. We've not seen it. It's, it's not the most playable card ever. So it's a three-two for six that like basically kills a creature, right? So it's 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 basically you need to think of this as two cards in one. So so it's something that kills a creature and it's a three-drop. So it's, it's it's basically playing two cards in in your end, in in the latter part of the game, right? Spellcraft is great pickup there. That's like, that's kind of our removal package done, I think. Mm -mm. Murder plus a creature, yeah, that's kind of the way you think about it, right? I'd see that field research going going by. The grind to mythic is ridiculous from there, let alone trying to stay in the numbers. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we've, we've played quite cowardice because we've not played um, standard since before Christmas Day. Right, lots of things I need to pick up here. I'd love to get a Vanguard, although it doesn't work too well with what we've got. I think I'm going to go for the Rebuke. Excellent removal. Let's, uh, let's just get some creatures in. Curve's looking fine. Hmm. Bo -bo -bo. Ooh. Sky, Skyclave. I mean, so it's definitely not party. It's definitely not party. Um, and like, so if, if this wasn't in the pack, I'd be going for the priest here. But this card is so good. It is so so good. So powerful. Hmm. Yeah, removal's premium. Removal's definitely premium. Uh, rebuke or another one of those. I think I'm gonna go grab a second rebuke. Removal is premium. Uh, but obviously, you you also want to be actually doing. Uh, you need to be getting your damage in right as well. Uh, the mace is fine. I do like the fact that the mace gives. We go for the warrior here. We don't have many warriors, and it's also a top game player. I think I'm, I think I'm happy taking that. It's also a land as well, which is nice. Pivot to Golgari. <laughs> I mean, I could have taken that just and, and tried to splash, right? But the card, the card's fine. The, the card's definitely fine. But <laughs> a bit late for a pivot. Well, we're only, we're only halfway through pack, pack three. You're a cowardice if you don't think so. All right, let me have a look what we've got in terms of removal. It'll all go behind me, won't it? Okay, so in terms of removal... Ah, no. I've lost it. There we go. I didn't realise it would take both. Uh, Deadly Alliance. So that's our removal package on the left. I think that's quite strong. Um, none of these are being played. So we're just going to take the uh, Uncommon. Hmm. I kind of guess Subtle Strike's also removal, right? Sixteen creatures, nine playables. It looks like a fine deck. Um, I mean, we're not playing another lag hack, so I'm just gonna take the gems. Ooh, so Song by Treachery is the awesome card. But actually, actually, no, the champion's not good, right? Because the champion doesn't help us. The champion's not going to be a warrior lots of the time, so I'm just gonna take the Song by Treachery. Take the uncommons. Oh, it has the pathways as well, does it? Oh, it does. I remember I posted some in the Discord. Yeah, that's gonna be quite good. That's gonna be quite cool. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, T to peak. That's that's what we want to see. That's a great two drop for us. It means we can probably get rid of one of the Fisher Price Wizards. Uh, we're not playing either of those, so we're gonna take the uncommons, fill up the vault a little bit more. Uh, not to playing a second one. We don't even know if we're playing the first one. I don't know if we do. Silencer. Okay. This is a weird one, chat. This is a very, very weird one. I think we're going to get some wins in it. Another Lackhack. Wow, people hate this card. 
I probably should have hit that card. Right. Only the 40 gems, though. But Ray need uh, common doors for limited. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Completely agree. Like with Zendikar, like even though we lost to a couple, like in in last uh, in the last uh, draft, there was uh, you, you you can't really play multiple colored decks, right? Okay, so we're gonna drop uh, red. And do I drop another mana here? I mean, we did flood out in the last games. The question is, do, am I playing the Silencer? Is the Silencer any good? I mean, it's essentially going to be... It's essentially going to be a... A 3-2 and kill something that's a 3-3, right? Hmm... Then we just cut three lands. We, it's not as it's not as one to one as that though, right? I mean, we definitely cut like we definitely cut another land. But do do we do we leave it like this? Like it's fourteen lands and playable. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we've got lots of early plays and a couple of electromancers to get us in there. I just don't want us to be mana screwed in the late game. Or, or droughted in the late game. Like this charger, I think. I think let's get rid of the charger and stick another black manor in. Or red manor. Or that be that would be eight. That be nine, ten, nine. What's the distribution? Uh, it's just lands. What about that? What about that? Uh, yeah, I, th I, th I think that, I think getting rid of the charger because the charger is never going to do anything, right? I mean, it is an early ping, obviously, but... but then again, that's only fifteen creatures. We've got some recursion, which is helpful. Ah, but then again, it is a warrior. It is a warrior, which we don't actually have that many of. We have the we only have the Akum warrior. Black red party. If you guys wanted to um, use any of your uh, predictions, we can do that. I have to play a game tomorrow. This looks like a really decent start. A game we're in some we're against somebody in diamond. Uh, keep. Nice. Okay. 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 Thundering rebuke. I'm gonna get the shade out because this is gonna trade up, right? So we throw this in, if it dies, we get it back and we cast it again. Oh, what could be good though, actually? Relic Vial, okay, that's nice. That's nice to see. Get ourselves a Menace Rogue down. So next turn, if Oppo plays a creature, we play the Electromancer uh, and then into the Rebuke. Demon's Disciple. I mean, okay. Does that do what you think it does? So in that case then, let's go Electromancer into the Ambusher. Hey Brushwag, hope you are my friends. Thank you very much for the double mythic. Yeah, we got there in there. We got in there in game three this morning. So we lost the game and then won two back to back. Um, much needed. Much needed. Uh, okay. So let's go Thundering Rebuke on this. There was a damage. That's fine. We play the. We play this down. We play this down. I mean, this card is so good. This card is so so strong. I won't have anybody say any any bad words about it. Okay, Thor is looking strong as well. <laughs> Waves like forest. Oh, I watched The Terminal uh, for the first time in the wild the other day. I love that film. Like Tom Hanks at his prime in the in the Terminal. He plays the uh, he plays the guy from uh, Krakosia, which I don't know. I don't know if that's a real place or not. I'd, I'd like to think it is. I'd like to think it is. Krakosia. Okay. 
Has Oppo got anything else to play? They do, Captain. Nice. So what I do here is play this down for th three. No. Okay, actually, this is quite cool. So what I do is I do this, play this down, hit the thundering rebuke on the captain. And just attack him, right? Thanks. I'll put it down to six. And I think I just attack in. Unblockable, can pump. Trades. Let's pump there. Beautiful. First win, GG's. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Okay, I was going to say this is a bad start, but it's not too bad because we get the Akum Warrior that we can play down tapped. Um, Blood Priest into the Geopede. And we've got the Blood Beckoning to bring the Blood Priest back later on as well. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Gets into all of our colours. Oppo in Platinum, which is an annoyance. Again, looking at the Elo, if we lose, it sets us back quite a lot. Oh, Red Mana. I think we still get the warrior down. Like, it's quite a long way away, right? Interesting. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. One damage. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to go GOP'd here. I kind of like the subtle strike on the GOP'd, right? I think the Skyclave Relic's a really bad card to be playing. Like a really poor card. What's this? What? Why would you do that, Arpo? Why would you do that to me, my friend? Uh, let's get the Lycac down. Start chipping away in. Flooded. So obviously playing the Akum Warrior down wasn't the best fight for us. Another three colour deck. I don't know if this is... Is this new? Deadly Alliance. Wow. I mean, okay. Feels bad. I'm going to hit the... Uh, I'm going to hit the Sort of Strike now. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Um... Hmm... Just gonna play out the manor and pass. Fisher Price Wizard. Get rid of the mountain. Draw a rogue. That's good. That's great to see. Okay, so now we've got the royal eruption on that. GG Zappo. I mean it's probably not scoopable there. I mean, it would have been obviously if I'd have hit the Royal Eruption on top, right? Well, I wish we could be as cool as you. And uh, this is a really bad hand, right? I'm going to mulligan this. Slightly better. The bottom fraught. <laughs> In comparison to the Doctor Who. Hey, obvious. Yes, my friend. We did. We did. We did. Uh... We got placed a lot higher than we are currently, but we're working towards getting it back down. In comparison to the Doctor Who Holiday Special, uh, I would say very much so. Very much so. My girlfriend's a huge Doctor Who fan. I must admit that even though I do like Doctor Who, I haven't... I don't watch lots of it myself. Like, I prefer the older Doctor Whos, I think. I'm going to pass this. I'll post mono red.
And also a very high number. So this would be a good game for us to win. What type of pen do I use? Oh, just a biro. Just a biro. Um, yeah. Something that dries quite quickly. That, that's one of my kind of like least uh, favorite things. Like, you know, you know when... Okay, actually, this is... Do I get rid of the lack I can get it back with the Fisher Price? Because I think I do, right? Let's get rid of this. Draw that. I'm actually going to play this out now and get this back. So not the most mana efficient play. Christmas gift pen? Nah, sadly no Christmas gift pen this year. Family must hate me. We need land. Let's run the clock. Happy to trade here. Expedition champion. Like... We're both awful on mana. Gonna hit the royal eruption there. I think it was needed. Like, so, uh, if Hoppo plays a creature down, the mana off the top means that I can play the um, the Electromancer. Oh, actually, a red mana. No, any any mana. Means I can play the Electromancer and kill things with a rebuke. Scorch Rider, nice. Come on, mana off the top. Beautiful. So, let's play this. And into that. Next turn, I can Deadly Alliance and attack through. Oh, the Secret Santa Pen. I forgot about the Secret Santa Pen because it was so awful. I mean, you guys know me. And I'm, I'm always. I, I like to be quite. A, I like to be quite a humble person, and I, I never like to be the kind of person that doesn't like uh, appreciate the gifts that they're given. However, definitely in the uh, top ten. Worst presents I've ever received. By a mile. Yeah, I got I got a... I don't even know where it is, man. I think I binned it or something. Let's have a look. I honestly do not know where, where it is. Uh, I got, oh, it's here. It's here. So, I, did, I told you the story how I spent like £15... Pounds on my secret Santa to get like a really nice, um, to get like a really nice like, um, Macare, is it, is it Macare hanging basket? And then the secret Santa gift that I got given was a pen. And I was like, well, several, several things, you know, several things wrong with that in my opinion, but, but who am I? Who am I to, uh, you know, Do I just creature until the end of turn? Means haste. That's a hotel pen too. Well, it matter who you are, man. Thinking. Um, I'm going to pass, right? Okay. Oppo's going through their deck. Looking mighty fine at the minute. We want to kill the core celebrant with the synchronized spellcraft to be mana efficient. Like, Song by Treachery does not do anything for us. Yeah, it's not, it's not even a good pattern, you know? Swapo's got something at instant speed. Wow, really? Okay. I mean, Zork, I would have appreciated that. Singer, I'm very well, my friend. What about yourself? What about yourself? Hope you're keeping safe. Okay, I'm going to pass. Wasted removal spell on our opponent there. 
Like classy. Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Some incremental damage. Do I just launch in? Probably with this, right? Trade it for the pack beast. Seems good. End the turn. Song Mad Treachery. What what else have I got left in this deck? Got so many good things. Ooh, the Outrider's very good. The Outrider is very, very good here. Up against him for seven. No blocks. Morning, Terrell. I have done, my friend. Thank you very much. Singer, how did how did that happen? Like, how did that even happen? Did your opponents just scoot? Uh, like, can I do... I can't do that, right? Um, hmm. Like, pass? Or it's GG's? Yeah, so we hit the World Mythic, but then we've been losing games in, in Limited. We're, we're at six. We're at 680 in Standard, in Constructed, so I don't know whether to keep playing or not. Like, we've got a day and a half left, right? So, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Right, guys. 15 minutes left on the clock for Stream Raiders. Make sure you're playing if you would like to. A call to exploration. GG's. Oppo wonders what we've got in hand. Nice. Uh, so this this is GG's, right? Oppo could have won last turn. Opted not to. Uh, yeah, yeah, Zog. So 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 that's the aim, my friend, right? That that's that's the aim. If not, I'd just keep, if if I didn't care about the numbers, I would have just played like because the numbers, you know, it's it's irrelevant, right? The the only numbers that matter is getting less than one thousand two hundred. You need to get top 400, I think. It depends, right? It's not an exact science. Like, I've I've, I've done it before and not had to do that. I'm going to keep this. Uh, play sound tapped. Hello, hello. Antic Teeth. We've played against Antic Teeth before, right? Fisher Price Wizards or the Ambusher? Probably the Ambusher. Can't see he'll drop too far in standards. As far as I know, um, as far as I know, only get one invite anyway. Yeah, so, but like, if I haven't got the, I need to get the wins to begin with, though, right? Mm -mm. Like, I can only get one invite, but I still need to get get there. Is a thing. Do, do, do. How's the baby doing, NZ? Hope everything's going alright for you. Do we take Oppo's entire turn? Hmm. Okay, that's quite cool. So we can kill the Fisher Price Wizard and buff this in response. Hmm. Blood Beckoning. We're gonna play this down tapped, right? Or do I want the midnight runner out? That's an interesting one. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I'm gonna play this down tapped. Keep up subtle strike and pass to our opponent. Subtle strike kills the wizard. Bumps the ambush, and I could take a whole turn for my opponent if they attack in. 
Which feels good. So if they're attacking with both here... Oh, you're kidding me, right? Damn. Okay. Okay, so in, in my in my mind that was that was a supposed to be a good play there. Alas it wasn't. That's fine though. Funny Rebuke is good. Funny Rebuke is very, very good. Right, so. Let's rebuke the Minotaur. And Fisher Price Wizard. Do I get rid of Blood Beckoning or Thwart? Probably get rid of Blood Beckoning here, right? Nice. No attacks. So, Fraught the Grave can be good. Hmm. Hopefully, a few days off coming, guys. That'd be good, man. That'd be good. Bro, tag. Interesting. The Akum Warrior. We're attacking with a Tita Peak. I probably don't, you know. I probably play out the runner. Uh, and Z, I'm not going to be streaming on Friday, man, because that's, uh, that's, that's going to be New Year's Day. And I don't think, I think me streaming on New Year's Day might be a little bit counterproductive um, in terms of viewership. So sadly, that won't be me. But next next week, next week, definitely. Uh, the Coon Warrior? Well, I say definitely. I haven't had my time to wait for teaching. I'm assuming that's fine. Morning, Terry. Hope you're well. Um, no attacks. No attacks. Community day tomorrow, Marbles tomorrow. Yeah, let's do let's do Marbles tomorrow. Marbles tomorrow sounds good. Was that end of our post turn? Nice. I mean, we throw the wizard in front of the catcher, right? Nothing in the graveyard yet for throw at the grave, sadly. Yeah, we can do a double gems giveaway tomorrow as well because of the uh, because of the double mythic. I think that, I think that sounds good. This is such a slow game. First words will be let sausage. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if that's your baby's first words? I'd love it. All right. So if Oppo's got a um, if Oppo's got a kill spell here, a block here, get them both back with Fraught the Grave. He's not watching that crap. What? Oh, you're cold. Hope you well, my friend. Cold. Did you stream last night? I, th I think I saw you going online as I was uh, jumping in the shower. How how was it? Happy second last day of the year. Nice. Oppo's thinking. Happy second of last day of the year to you as well. No need to thank me, Oppo. Just keep thinking. You did yesterday afternoon. Nice. Hope it went well. Or maybe I wasn't going in the bath then. Maybe I was going out. Maybe I was going shopping. I knew somebody started streaming as I was going in the bath. And then somebody started streaming as I was going shopping. There, uh, shower, sorry. Not bath. I don't even know how baths work. Wait till he discovers YouTube in like three to four. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Take one there from off him. Thought the grave is awful here. It really, really is. Um, Go with the Fisher Price Wizard. Like, a part of me thinks I just kill the... I, I kill the Ambusher. Like, I think I do, you know. Because they're just going to keep pumping it next turn, right? Uh, end of turn. I need to get... Um, ba -ba -ba. So the Silencer, old Giza Mage. Okay. This is going to be the, the Grow Tag Night Runner, right? Nice. Up against him for uh, three. Mm 
Okay. My turn. Look at all these lands. Look at all these lands and nothing to do with it. Pass. Okay. Happy to make some trades here. We use the Thor at the Grave to get things back next turn. If needs be. <laughs> Captain, I still love your Let's Sausage video. It's amazing. It really, really is. Pass to attacks. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do, I'm going to block with both. We've got a throw of the grave. We essentially want Oppo to be, if they've got a pump spell to use it, right? Okay, so they didn't. My turn. Wow, really? Throw of the grave seems really bad, right? I'm going to pass. End of turn, no. Five mana, get one thing from the graveyard. That's our opponent. Make them save it. You didn't make it to the supermarket? You went sledging instead. I don't know. Is that is that cute? It's, it kind of is cute, right? That's awesome. <laughs> um, right, so kind of want to play down. Do I just get it? Sledgeons. <laughs> um, I'm just going to play the Electromancer. Like, yeah, I'm going to play the Electromancer down. Uh... What, shall I, shall I, um... Okay, I'm actually going to pass. And I might even, um... I might even attack him with this here. The reason being is that if Oppo blocks, it gives me a target for Throw at the Grave. But I don't think they will. Nice. End of turn. Yeah, I didn't think they would block there. That's quite interesting. Back Beast. Pings the Wizard. Okay. My turn. Nightshade is an excellent card. Beautiful. Right, here we go. We're back in it now. It feels like we're back in it. Can't block though, right? So let's pass. Okay, so this is a this is a weird game. We've got some good attacks. I kind of forgot this was in our deck. Sneaking guide can get the pack beast in. So we might have to try and kill this as much as we can. I'll post put us on a very low clock here. Grow tag. Where's all my creatures? Where's all my creatures? Um, the Lagat could be quite good. Helion as well. Helion will get us back a Akum Warrior. Or the Song by Treachery, actually. Wow. We're getting for five. Nice. So one, two, three. Got to play this now. Two great cards to get rid of. And I'm going to go for 
Uh, this and the grow tech. And the term. Wow. <laughs> There's the grease of demise. <laughs> yeah, I realized what I said then. Okay, so this feels a lot better now. Uh, we've got two damage in the air. This kind of needs to be dealt with. The Electromancer can attack in as well. They'll trade it with a pack Viso, right? That was really clever play by Oppo using the Kazor's Fury to get rid of our only blocker. Remember the Sky Dancer can die. Roll to face for karma. Can you imagine? I wouldn't be very happy. Let's 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 put it that way. I would not be I would not be a happy bunny. Uh, last minute on the clock, guys. If you've got any more units to put down for stream raiders, I know I haven't been reminding you, so apologies for that. Then we've got what we got on the battlefield. Forty-five. That seems good. It's a hard level though. Okay. Oppo says, oops. I don't know what that means. End of turn. Oh, we thought you had haste, I think. Oh, you're kidding me, really? Damn. These geezer mages have absolutely taken us out. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oppo is punting all over the place and we're still losing. Right, how do I win this chat? Oppo's okay, got to block. Six damage. Can we get the GGs here? Blood Priest off the top just as we needed it. Pass to attacks. My turn. <laughs> what a game! What a game! Two great cards in a row! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. I like this. Let's keep. Stream more. I would love to stream more. I really, really would. Let's, uh... Since I've took the music off, let me just stick the in-game music back up a little bit. Just turn the heating off. <laughs> Can you imagine? What is 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 that what is that what the paladin does? Okay, understandable then. Understandable. Fossil fuel is fake. What? I mean, I mean, trust the Americans come in. Trust the Americans come in. Like, oh, it's, it's, it doesn't it doesn't exist. It's, it's not real. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm gonna get the wizard down. And you know what? I'm not gonna chuck anything though. I'm not gonna chuck anything away here. I think this is fine the way it is. Oh no, that's the Templar. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. My bad. What's your record? Um, I don't actually know. What, are we on three wins or something? We're going okay. Do I get rid of the Gloom Hunter here because of my... Uh, I think I do. Like, 
I know this looks like it's a bit wasteful, but we've got lots and lots of removal. And the Gloom Hunter, when it's in the air, it can just... Uh, you could stream five days a week. What? We can't stream five days a week, man, because then we would actually be streaming five days a week. Set up crypto mining rig and heat the house with it. I mean... You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ooh. Right. Hey, do you want to trade? Pure cowardice from our opponent there, not wanting to trade. Right, now is this actually going to be useful? We'll see. We'll see. No, 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 no. Okay. We need to kill this ASAP. It's the, it's the best card they have. So we're going to play the Akun Warrior down. Uh, the reason being is that it's obviously, um, you know, you, you guys know, you guys know. Could use solar power four days every... <laughs> Funny, I like it. I like it. Okay, so synchronized spellcraft and the silencer? What do we think here? Oppo's got something else. Is it going to be a protective spell? Okay, chat. That's problematic. Had to have this one card. Wow. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. So, like, I need to kind of just kill this, right? Because if not, they just overtake the board. Back in with this. Got the constrictor. Um, yeah, we are in trouble. I don't know how to win. Wow. Nice. GG's, right? Song Mad Treachery. I mean, Song Mad Treachery off the top and then we just swing up with all, right? Does that help us? It feels like it does help us. Like, Song Mad Treachery off the top, swing with all could be a win. Let's see. Uh, Oppo has eight in the graveyard. There's four in there at the minute. This is ridiculous. Absolutely. I mean, it, I don't think it's luck. I mean, they have to have this, right? If they don't have this, they, they're they not very good. I mean, yeah. What can we do? What can we do, chat? <laughs> like a sung by treachery off the top still wins the game I think uh, because what are we getting in for we're getting in for enough even more if, if they attack in as well even better okay
Silence is not... Yeah, I mean, I think what we do here... If I attack him with three, we get one, two, four, seven. Wow. Okay. Still keeping the faith. Nice. Oh, it's GG's, right? It's GG's because they can just attack in. Ah, damn. I mean, they still had the win. They still had the win because they were four over, but still annoying. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm okay keeping this. I mean, the front of the grave's bad, right? But don't crab me. <laughs> um, I think the Sungbad Treachery is slightly better than the Akum Warrior. So I'm happy to play this down tapped. We've got the uh, Hillion as well though, remember? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play the Wizard. Probably get rid of uh, Throughout the Grave. Under Rebuke, nice. Cunning Geezer Mage. Black mana. Hmm. Do I actually play the Song Mad Treachery down now? Or do we go Subtle Strike? So what does Subtle Strike get us? No, Subtle Strike just gets us a trade, right? Okay, in this case, I'm going to go Thundering Rebuke. Do I go Thundering Rebuke? Let's, let's attack him with a Wizard first. Um, it's a good wizard. It's a good wizard, but I'm going to keep it because I'll post playing green. So green, you've got lots of uh, bigger creatures that we're going to find it harder to get around, right? So depending on what they play, we've got a subtle strike up and the thundering rebuke, or we've got a lagak. Let's have a look. Remember that the lagak blocks this, right? Pickaxe. Nice. Gets plus two, plus two. I mean, I'm going to get the lag act down here. I'll probably miss the land drop, I think. Standard draft is brutal. I see players using uh, amazing rares. Um, always see to get confounded conditions <laughs> trash like that. I feel you, my friend. I feel you. It's, um, yeah, it's... It feels bad sometimes, right? Okay, I'm going to play this. Deal damage. I'm going to attack him with both. Keep up Synchronized Spellcraft and the Subtle Strike. And see what Oppo wants to do.
I mean, that's fine for me, right? Play the Hillion down. I mean, probably just grab this because I I win next turn if I, if I if I get a land I win next turn. Can Oppo afford to attack him with this? I don't think they can. The rebuke on the Giza Mage. And attack him. Nice. And this will be GG's. Whatever Oppo plays, we can just steal. Or we can kill. Visionary is nice for them. Oppo offers us the GG's. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, bro. Right, let's play this. We're gonna get this shade in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna up upload the uh, upload that to stream elements, and then we need uh, there's a five win there as well, which I'm sure we've got. <laughs> it's getting better, my friend. It's getting better. <laughs> uh, do you, do you think you drink too much caffeine, or is it just not? Um... Oh, wait, enough turn four wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10-4 wins, they're a great thing, right? They're such a, such a powerful thing. Right, we're going to attack him with this. Okay, and it feels bad that we're not taking advantage of this, but we're going to play the uh, Electromancer down and end the turn. Okay, what do we have here? Anything of worth? We've got two removal spells. Ooh. Wait, what? Does that not do anything? And they cost three or more. Wow, Oppo couldn't do it. Let's go. This could be an easy win for us, guys. Oh, really? No coffee either. That's weird. Like, hmm. I mean, yeah, sleep's a, sleep's a very, very interesting thing, right? Alright, so we've got the Soul Strike if Oppo throws in the Rogue. Next to damage. I mean, this is going to be GG's chat. Oppo's not done anything yet. It's turn, it's turn 5 for Oppo and they've played one spell that misfired. You know? Unlucky, Coco. Unlucky, my friend. Uh, Song Mad Treachery. I think we keep this right on the play. So I'm going to treachery down and pass. Hmm. Swamp say go. Two rebukes. Subtle strike. So this is actually quite good because the growth tag will help us get through, right? Because of the... Wow. Any more black mana? Don't have a counter spell. I need to get rid of this pen. Why? Why are you playing? Okay. I'm not going to be that streamer. I'm not going to be that streamer. But why are you playing that card? I... <laughs> okay. Into the Royal. That comes into their hand, does it? Interesting. Fisher Price Wizard. It's a land. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It doesn't mean it's a good one though, right? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna play the Blood Beckoning now. Get this back. Throw the Grave can come in later on. Because it's free, Dean. It's free. It is free. It is free. That's nice. Okay. Good for Throw the Grave to get that Hillion. Oh, 
Right, so I'm going to play this runner out. And I'm going to attack him with a wizard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to waste Oppo's turn. Oh, duelist. Okay, this could be quite interesting. Oppo goes for the block. So, give this... So, Oppo's got to then use an Into the Royal on the Fisher Wizard. Which is the worst Into the Royal anyone's ever seen, ever. Do you not think Soul Strike's good? I think Soul Strike's excellent. I think it's an excellent card. And I, and I, like, I, like, literally no capper there. Literally no capper. I think it's such a strong card. Okay. So we get Oppo to rummage through their uh, graveyard a little bit. Ooh. I could throw out the grave. Oh, this is actually going to be quite good. So I get the Helion down and the Electromancer, which gives me enough for a Thundering Rebuke or a Wizard. This feels really good, right? Song Mad Treachery, can't really play. Ah, no, I can play it. I can play it. Let me take it. So I'm going to hit the Funding Rebuke on the Diviner. Attacking with the Grow Tag. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Oh, in constructor. No, no, no. Uh, not in constructor, man. Not in constructor. Sorry, I, I miss. I misread what you said. Okay, that's fine by me. Like, obviously, it's not the best in the world, but at the same time, you know. Let's attack him with all here. Oh wait, up over glacial grasp. Okay, we're still attacking him with all, right? Um, I'm gonna go through my library. Okay, get rid of the mountain. Sky Dancer, nice. Swamp. Uh, okay, let's attack him. Glacial Grasp on that instead of the Grow Tag, really? I mean, okay. That's a shame. But end the turn. I mean, I mean, this Grow Tag has actually really uh, messed me up a little bit this game. GG Zoppo says. Ah, uh, they can kill the wizard, right? They can kill the wizard, I guess. Land comes in. I mean, we're going to say GG to the opponent. Get the swarm. So that does do five damage to Oppo, he knows. Beautiful. We'll show him what we had. Nice. Seems good. Seems good. 899. Supposed to get three feet of snow tonight? Um, okay. <laughs> That's not too good. I'm going to mulligan this as well. We're not mulliganing again, right? Get to sneak and let's run. I mean, three feet of snow is awful. That, that's a lot. Like, it's a lot, a lot. You're going to have to take off the screen door to get out because it won't open. Well, why would you leave? What, why would you want to leave? The royal eruption this needs to stay into the game. 
don't think I've ever seen that much snow. That's definitely an American thing, right? Okay, we're going to take over our opponent with the Geopede. Kite sail and land down. Oh, we missed it. Okay, we do have a little bit of everything here, right? That feels better. You've never seen any snow, Zork. That... I don't even know how to react to that, my friend. I don't even know how to react to that. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. I'm going to hit the Sort of Strike to keep this alive. Four three flyer. It's past the oppo. Was twenty six seeds? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I kind of guess that's fine, you know, that's, that's fine. Fine-ish. So if I just go attack him with all here? We're in trouble. Relic Axe. Does Relic Axe do? Gives a plus one. Okay. Boom. Oppo gets to draw a card. Pass to our opponent. End of turn. Okay, this is either seven wins or it's another loss. Hmm. I mean, Relic Robber, nice. No, 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 no. Wow, really? Nice. Oh, don't flood me. Like, literally don't flood me. That's the worst thing you could be doing right now. I think I've got to pass. Relic robber in there. Uh, royal eruption. Nice. GG's, Doppo. Um, I mean, what can we grab here that's at least anything? Nightshade doesn't do it, right? Can't block. Can't block. <laughs> GG's. Ah, uh, there we go, guys. Six wins. Six wins. Mine tore off the top. What is this deck? What is this deck? Blue? Blue red party? I've never seen it before. I'll put my new selecting cards from the library. <laughs> Um, okay, so we went back on that party train. We was able to pick up six wins, and it was so, so, so close to being seven wins this time. Uh, the deck itself, we've been playing a couple of the Boros party decks recently after our 7-0 uh, triumph, and I think I think we did really, really well. So we cut ourselves down to 15 lands. We had three of the, uh, the Modor face cards, but one thing that made this deck so powerful was the sheer amount of removal. Okay, so we had a Deadly Alliance, two of the Rebukes, uh, Royal Eruption and uh, a Subtle Strike, which I even kind of included in that. It's the first time we've played one of uh, Drawing the Silencers. And even though I wasn't majorly impressed with the cards, it did get us one win. So 
you know, I kind of guess you've got to make your own kind of opinions on that. The kite sail as good as ever as was the uh, GOP, but what really made this deck come together was the fact that we had a couple of the Electromancers. And the Electromancers mean that even though you've got a little bit of mana, you're not kind of going to flood out, even though we did a couple of times. It means that oftentimes you can play maybe two or three cards a turn. So you just build up that board presence and really, really take over the game. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch me on twitch.tv five days a week on the link below. And I'll see you guys next time.